All right, you guys, welcome back to the last and final installment of the 86 Forerunner. We're just gonna adjust the valve, but this information isn't a big secret and uh, it's available all over the internet. But uh, even LC Engineering, who I talked about before, uh, you just go to their website, they've got a really nice PDF or an instructional manual. So this is just the gist of that. And the only special tools we're gonna need are two feeler gauges, a 0.012 thousandths feeler gauge and a 0.008 thousandths feeler gauge. Once we do this, it's freaking totally completely done. And Kyler's gonna come up, come over here and pick it up here in the next couple days. Uh, just got back from driving it uh, about four miles. We got it basically up to operating temperature. So all that there really is to do here, fortunately on this uh, simple little Four speed 22 RE, there's only uh, two positions that you need to move the crank to. So, what we want to do is right over here. Okay, we're going to pop the uh, distributor cap off so that we can verify the firing position. So, this right here is the number one spark plug wire, number one spark plug location, and once we have this off, we can look at it where the rotor inside the distributor, that little bad boy, as soon as it's pointed at number one, when we line up the top dead center mark down below here, we will know that it is on the firing stroke of the top dead center position. So we're going to take the uh, 19 millimeter wrench, put it right down there on the crank bolt. Turn it until we see top dead center on the timing mark, right down there, right down below. There you go. Zero top dead center on the timing mark. So now we're ready to pull the valve cover off. So you got a couple different items you got to have to disconnect right here, just a couple. Your four bolts, sorry, your four nuts that hold it down, and hopefully yours is fairly clean and it'll be easy to clean up. The recommendation is every 60,000 miles these things should be checked. So you got 0 0.012 is the larger to test. That's on the exhaust and the 0 0.008 uh, of an inch on the intake. At the number one position here, we're going to check the two, the front two cylinder intakes, the front cylinder exhaust, and the third cylinder exhaust. We're gonna, then we're going to rotate it 100 or uh, 360 degrees and then we're just going to do the, the other four. And I can tell you just by touching this thing, it's definitely, it's definitely out of adjustment quite a bit I'd say. Okay, just taking your feeler gauge, sliding it in between, <clears throat> in between the screw head and the top of the valve, the tip of the valve there. Okay, so the point zero zero, sorry, the point zero one two sliding in there a little too easily back off the nut take the adjuster screw and we're going to turn it down in there a little bit A little bit too hard to shove through. Oh yeah, all right there, that's what we're looking for. Just right. Perfect. That would be easier with a regular box end wrench, but mine is currently out of commission. Be the key to this.
that's the one right there. Perfect. Sits in nice and snug, without any shoving, without any pulling, without any gripping. All sides. There we have it. Double, triple check. I tightened it all the way up. Oh yeah, perfect. So yeah, they were out. They were out quite a bit. Okay, and so now all we got to do is rotate the crank 360 degrees, which will put this 180 degrees. So 360 degrees around until you get the timing mark lined up once more. And she's ready to go. Everything's clear and out of the way. Let's turn her around. There you go. 360 degrees around for the next timing mark. Puts that beauty at 180 from where it was. And now we check the rest of them. These two and these two. Sweet, not much left to it. That one's way out. And that one's way out. Okay. And that's practically all there is to it. There you have it, folks. That's a wrap. Got her all tightened up, stitched down, and uh, hopefully the last time these gaskets and seals will have to come off for a long, long time. 60,000 miles, I'd say. So that's it, man. Uh, Kyler, come back and see me in 60,000 miles, and we'll adjust those valves once again. Uh, we'll see you on the next video.